Here we are. At the cheapest camp ever. Hi. Yeah, we're going to do a little another little video. Something different. All about bugs and insects. Now, if you've seen me, uh, my last video, or one of my last videos, I uh, had a big infestation. A big infestation. They're all gone. They all got away. Which is good. You know, that was just for fun. You know, uh, nobody likes mosquitoes, but... They're living too. I, I shouldn't have killed them like that. It was just a test to see if that torch, would, how, how good it would, how potent that plastic is. It took out the mosquitoes, but anyway, I thought, well, might as well turn this into a positive than a negative. Uh, I could uh, do a little bug collection. Because this is like a little bug collector for all you entomologists out there. Yeah. So I could, uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration. I'm going to find a bug, and uh, and we'll see if we can figure out what it is. Okay, like I got a little kit here. Now, I'll show you the kit here first. I'll, I'll, sh I'll do a little rundown. This is, you got to get the book that coincides with your area. The, you know, might not, don't get a book that has bugs about African bugs, you know. If you're in North America. Now, got a little kit here. And sit down here. Oh, whoa. What am I doing? Huh. Here we go. Everything I need. Oh, whoa. See that little cut? Going through the bush with that kayak. My handmade bracelet too. Maybe I'll give one away for my 10,000 subscriber or something. Stainless steel. Anyway, my cut here. What am I gonna do with that? What are we gonna do? Well, I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the, need something to poke, I'll bring uh, this again. And it's kind of dirty though. I'll just poke it with my finger. Okay. I'll have to heal my wound before we get started. Balsam fur. Right here. Where's a bubble? You want a bubble? And you see the little blisters on them. I don't see any on that one. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Could always go to the one I went to before. Now there's some back here. This is my go-to, my medicinal tree. Where's a little blister? I don't see any. This one's gotta have one. Yeah. Oh, that sprayed me in the eye. Did you see that? That popped right out of there. Jeez. Holy. Don't do that. Don't go. That'll squish you right in the eyeball. Mm. That got me. And I, there's not. It, they blew it up, there's nothing left. Gee. Oh. Any blisters? I got some wounds here. Yeah, I should get back at my main video here. We're supposed to be doing bugs. We'll get that uh, fixed up. Guys. Well, now you know not to do what I just did. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm just gonna bust in. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Ah, oh, see, they just blows up. I'm just gonna like, ah, smear some on there. I know it's like, eh. 
Should have got a Q-tip or something to wipe it on there, but you know, I got some on there. It's all counts. Okay, let's get back at her. It's a nice day. My wall. Okay, our bug collection. A little sidetrack in there for that wound. Okay. This is our little kit. Glass jar. That's like it might like that's like the gas chamber. Okay. What you're gonna do is kinda like you're gonna gas the bugs. Now I got acetone. And then you got some tissue paper and some milk to do, drink because it's delicious. Okay. What you're gonna do, once I get my bug, I'm gonna dip this, you know, do the old splash -a on get some on here, chuck it in one of these with the bug, and then, uh, but yeah, close it up, and then that'll suffocate the bug quick. Well, you could just, it'll kill the bug with the fumes rather than suffocating him, sorry. Uh, suffocating him slowly over time is a bit cruel. Uh, you want a quick, uh, quick uh, death here, you know, uh, their bugs are still, uh, they're, they're um, beings too, you know. Like, so I thought, instead of killing them, make a little collection out of the bugs around here, figure out who exactly they are with the book, and then become one with uh, all, every, all the beings around here. You know, I kind of flew over the, I flew off the handle uh, trying to kill them. They're all stuck in the corner. And nobody likes that. They're kind of annoying, but uh, they're still creatures of this planet. Why did I just want to burn them? That's the first human instinct. You're annoying me, so I'm going to destroy you. Okay? Why do I still have human instincts? I've been a lichen for a thousand years now. So, I don't know. So you got to think about stuff over time and be like, Oh, you know what? Maybe I didn't do... Uh, maybe I reacted wrongly. So yeah, here I am. Let's, let's turn them into my friends, not my enemies. Well, even though I'm going to have to kill one or two of them, but like I'll kill one or two to figure out who they are, and then, uh, and then I'll know them by their first name. Their Latin name, and they'll be like, okay, he knows me now. So, let's go find a bug. I'll, just, I'll do it right now. One-handed. At. Hey. Okay. I know we could find a bug around here. I hear him. Oh, there's one up in there. Oh, you can't see that. I know there's some bugs around here. Ah, there's a guy. I see him. Where'd he go? There he is. See him? If I could hit him off into here, watch this. Oh. Oh! Got him. Got him. Uh. Uh. Now, where's that lid? Okay, he's gonna sit in there. No! He almost got away. Okay. We're gonna see what he is, okay? Let me put the camera down and I'll show you what I do. Okay. So, I'm gonna go like this with the acetone. You don't need that much. You don't want to soak it because you don't want to get all your bug all full acetone and wet. You now the key is you don't you want to you want to make sure your bug doesn't get harmed because we're going to pin him and you want we want to make him look like he's alive as possible. You don't want to 
you don't want to hurt them break any pieces off so you just boom get some on there a bit now Now is the, I'm gonna, whoa, my camera. Jeez, things are happening. Whoa. Sorry, people. Okay. I'm gonna chuck this in there. Whoa, I'm getting, feeling it. This how's my camera, is it looking right? Oh my God, there we go. Okay, here we go. Gonna get this on before he flies out. Aha. Uh -huh. See, so he's not going to like that. It's like the gas chamber for him in there. So he's going to die. Sorry, bug. But you're going to make a beautiful specimen for my bug collection. We'll figure out your name in Latin. So he's going to suffocate there, okay? Now, I'll show you what we do next, okay? So once he, once he suffocates, or death by chemical breathing in, in, you know, inhalation of chemicals. So what are you gonna do after when he's done? It, it probably I probably wait a day just to be sure. So then when after that you'll take him out and you're gonna wanna whoa the top just came off this pin here. Well, got you gotta you gotta pin them. Ah, so I'll pin them about halfway up the pin. I got a pin here. You put them on about halfway up the pin. You stick them on there so you could get a good look at them. You could get a good look at them and move them around and manipulate them so you could see his pieces and parts. That's what you need to know or see to identificate, identify him. And you might need a magnifying glass because there's a lot of parts to identifying these bugs that you will need. Like you're counting their toes or feet, it's called tarsi, tarsus. So a certain, if, if you wanna be uh, bang on with the bug and make sure you identify it properly, there's a lot of magnification needed for certain things. Even down to the spiracles, it's like the little, what, music, come on. So sometimes you gotta count the spiracles, which are the little air holes in their body, which they breathe out of, breathe out of. So yeah, so once that guy's dead, I'll have a good look at him. Put that cap back on, don't want to spill that. So, so I'll pin him, I'll pin him on here and then I'll see his characteristics and I'll go through my book. Oh yeah. <laughs> My human name from the past. Uh, yeah, so uh, this book here will uh, show me what kind of bug he is. It works like this. Like, you have to know a little bit about bugs. Like, Coleopterus beetles. And I'm, that guy's a beetle, so he's going to be in that part of the book. So I know that already. Coleoptera, you know. Um, what have we got? So there's a certain part of the book here. You start out, you start out, and where do I go here? Diptera for double two winged, dip die, you know, the two winged flies, uh, Lepidoptera, that's um, butterflies, Lepid, like, I'm pretty sure it means like the wax or the fatty scales in their wings or something like that. Um, so you know you have to go to a certain part of the book with the what whatever you find. I find a I find a beetle, it's Coleoptera. So I go to the Coleoptera of the book, part of the book. And then it'll tell you exactly does the bug have um you know long antennae with a curl on the end of it. So if, if it does, you turn to this the next page. And then it'll say, okay, how many tarsies does it have? Does it have two tarsies like this or three of them? And it'll tell you if it does, turn to this page of the book continued on until you finally get to the end and it'll tell you the exact name of the bug. Like, uh, where's a simple one to show you? The bug that we all know. 
Okay. Bro, well, there's a June bug. Hey. Philophaga por portorensensis. Philophaga portorensensis. A June bug. See, there you go. That's an easy one. If you find a June bug, there it is. It's just a pic. Not all bugs are going to show you. It's not going to have pictures of every bug like that, but June bugs is a great one. That's a good example. But anyway, I'm going to uh, collect a few more bugs, uh, suff suffocate them here and pin them, and then uh, I'm going to try to figure out who they are, and then that'll be uh, my next bug video. Lake Superior insects uh, collecting and identifying. It's a little, a little bit different. My bookmark. Okay. Oh. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoy. Let's see how this guy's doing. I think he's dead. I think he's dead, but we'll let that go. So I hope that gives you an idea. I'll do a little quick rundown on what you need to get started with your own little bug collection, okay? A nice box. This is a, just a crappy box. Like, you could get a, a box with a lid that goes on, and this is just whatever to show you. Like, I got just a... Well, look at this. I couldn't find a styrofoam. So, yeah, that's what you're going to pin the bug in. You're going to put this through the bug. You put the bug on here... And you you push down on them halfway, get them in the center, and, and then and then like you know I'm gonna pin them on the nice one. And then I'll have five bugs. I'll figure out who they are with the book, and then when you get a little piece of paper, I'm talking a little piece of paper. I'll, I'll like this big. It's gonna be a tiny little rectangle. And I'm gonna write in I'm gonna write in the Latin name of the species, blip, and then and the English name. On a piece of paper, and then, and then on a piece of paper is going to get pinned as well. So I'm gonna, the bug is going to be high up. Whoop. The bug will be pinned right here. And then the piece of paper below it saying what species it is. Okay? That's all you need. So you need a pen, paper, and scissors to cut out the little pieces of paper. This is just very rudimentary. Like, there's, there's better kits you could buy. But this is all you need. Tissue paper, something to kill the bugs. The little jars to kill them. Where'd it go? Well, this is a jar. But yeah, that's all you need, folks. Bugs. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, like, and subscribe. Signing out.